Tom Brady should be considered as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. He's played in five Super Bowls. He's won three of them. He's won multiple league MVPs, and he has all the stats to go along with it. Tom Brady was born August 3, 1977, near San Francisco, California. He was drafted by the Montreal Expos out of high school, but chose instead to play football for University of Michigan. Tom Brady deciding to play football over baseball was baseball's loss and football's gain because he's been one of the great ambassadors for the sport. He's a guy who can show you still how beautiful the game can be. At University of Michigan, Brady struggled for playing time until his junior year, when he set the school record for the most pass attempts and completions in a single season. By his senior year, Brady was voted captain of the team, leading Michigan to victory in the Orange Bowl. In 2000, Brady was drafted sixth round overall by the New England Patriots and saw playing time in only one game his first season. No one thought he had a great arm, no one thought he had great strength, no one thought he had great speed, and look what he became. So it shows you what all the experts know, which is basically not much. In 2001, Brady stepped in for injured quarterback Drew Bledsoe and led the Patriots to 11 wins in 14 games. I remember covering Tom Brady in the 2001 quarterback challenge. I was like, who is this new kid? He looked a little awkward, but then he flashed that killer smile. He looked at you with those baby blues. He got on the field and nailed all of his throws, and you knew right away he was moving to the top quickly. The Patriots went on to win Super Bowl 36, and Brady was named MVP of the game, becoming the youngest quarterback ever to win a Super Bowl. It's funny, when you look at the 2001 season and Tom Brady taking over when Drew Bledsoe got injured, I always say that Mo Lewis from the Jets should probably be MVP of that team because had he not knocked Drew Bledsoe out of the game, Brady maybe never would have started. But once Brady got in there, he took over, got that team a division championship, got him into the Super Bowl, and was the MVP. It was almost a miracle story. Brady holds the NFL records for the most touchdown passes in a single season and the longest consecutive winning streak in NFL history. Tom Brady means everything to the Patriots, and really he put them back on the map. Without Tom Brady, the New England Patriots would be just another football team. Not only did he make a difference in winning Super Bowl championships, but also in the marketability of that franchise and the value of that franchise and in their recognition in the national consciousness among people that aren't just fans of the NFL. Outside of football, Brady is a sought-after celebrity and pitchman, with guest appearances on Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons, and endorsements by Nike, Under Armour, and Visa. In 2002, he was named one of People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People. You can't not love Tom Brady, the all-American guy. His looks don't hurt, right? He knows how to win, and he knows how to look the part. He's an advertiser's dream. He's a superlative athlete who's also embraced the lifestyle of being a successful pro athlete. He's got a beautiful wife, he's got handsome family, and he has a lot of endorsement opportunities. Brady's life became tabloid fodder in 2006, when former girlfriend Bridget Moynihan announced she was pregnant with his child, while Brady had already begun dating Brazilian supermodel Giselle Bündchen. Moynihan gave birth to their son in 2007. I think it tells you a little something about Tom Brady, that even when he had what could have been a PR fiasco, that it didn't impact his popularity all that much. Brady married Bündchen in 2009 and had two children with her. I think Tom Brady's a Hall of Famer. His legacy is tremendous. When Tom Brady is done with football and he retires, he'll definitely be on the Mount Rushmore of NFL quarterbacks, along with guys like John Elway, Joe Montana, and Terry Bradshaw.